stroke mm -hmm. can affect men and women in very different ways, but a surprising new survey is now showing just how unaware most women are when it comes to strokes. Clark Powell reports from the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. Four leaders. Working as a critical care nurse, Kelly Earlywine is trained to spot even the most subtle signs of problems in her patients. It's something she rarely misses in them, but recently failed to recognize in herself. Kelly was suffering from migraines, dizziness, and even tremors, all of which she thought were just signs of stress. These symptoms started, but never would I have contributed at my age, 32, of having a stroke. But that's just what happened, and doctors say Kelly is not alone. Women do not think that they're going to have a stroke. They think of it as a men's disease. Dr. Diana Green Chandos is a neurologist who says women have unique risks and symptoms when it comes to stroke, but many don't know it. Things like pregnancy and migraines can make a stroke more likely. But a new national survey of women released by the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center found that only 11% of women could identify a list of female specific risks. And nine out of 10 didn't know that women often have hiccups during a stroke. Knowing the very first signs of a stroke is crucial because doctors say there is only a three hour window to get to a hospital for possible life saving medicine. You have to know when you're having a stroke, you have to recognize that it's a stroke and you have to get to the emergency room and receive the medication. Kelly was lucky. She had her stroke at the hospital and got help immediately. But she says she's learned that she should have listened to her body all along. Get checked out, get lab work done. You know, tell your doctor some of your symptoms. I want to be here for my family. I want to be here for my little girl. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting. We continue with more stroke awareness as there's another step beyond knowing the signs actually getting checked. Another survey indicates young people are more likely to ignore signs of stroke and would not go to the ER. Clark Powell talks with one young woman who thankfully did go to the emergency room. The symptoms Jennifer Riley experienced seemed like nothing. Numbness in her hand periodically, followed by a bad headache a few weeks later. In fact, Jennifer might have ignored her symptoms if not for a coworker who insisted she go to the hospital, where she was stunned by her diagnosis. When the doctor told me that I had had a stroke at age 27, I almost didn't believe him. I almost thought that this, this could not be possible. Not only is it possible, it's happening more often. Since the mid 90s, strokes in patients under the age of 45 have shot up as much as 53%. And all too often, young patients react just like Jennifer. We may think that these symptoms may be mild or due to some other medical problem or nothing at all. So we tend to delay and not come in immediately, but that is, uh, that's a real problem. Dr. David Leviskind of Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center diagnosed Jennifer. He says she's lucky she got help in time because most young people may not. In fact, in a new national survey by UCLA, those under 45 were given the symptoms of a stroke and asked what they would do in the first three hours. Only about one out of three said they would be very likely to go to the hospital. A staggering 73% said they were likely to just wait to see if they got better, a delay that could prove costly. Timely treatment for stroke is probably more important than for almost any other medical problem there is. The brain is very sensitive uh, to a lack of blood flow or bleeding. Uh, and uh, the consequences can be absolutely devastating. Doctors say everyone should know the signs of a stroke and act fast. If the face droops and arm weakens or speech changes, it's time to call 911. Go and check it out. Ask the questions um, because if I hadn't, I wouldn't be here. At Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.